Let's talk about why you can't go to a gym while you're working. So you've had a brilliant idea. You want to open a budget gym. And you'll and you're thinking, hmm, where should I put my gym locations? Next to the freeway? Or in a really small crowded residential neighborhood so that I could have more people come in and sign up for the gym. Exactly. See, like I feel like sometimes when when you guys say, or not, not, I'm, you probably shouldn't generalize and say everyone, but when when a couple of people say, hey, what about a gym membership for showers and then go to cheap truck stops, the people that are recommending that actually aren't hotshotting, actually aren't driving a hotshot truck. Because if you're driving a hotshot truck, you'll understand really quickly that this isn't just a pickup truck with a trailer, even though that's what I say sometimes. Oh, it's just a pickup truck with a trailer. Uh-huh. My overall length is 65 feet. Like, you think I'm going to risk hitting something. You think I'm going to risk jumping curves because it's too tight, fitting, struggling, to just to go to, just to save 11 bucks or something from a shower? Not uh, Like, is that really what we're going, like, we're... Just, okay, fine, fine. Let's say, yeah, no, let's say you pick the big plan of fitnesses. Let's say you pick uh, the bigger gyms and you, you say you budget aggressively and you actually save 30 extra dollars or 40 extra bucks by say, ooh, okay. And so you fill up on cheaper diesel and so you save, I don't know, 150, 200 bucks there. Okay. What about ELD? Because... We now have ELD, and that means every time you move your truck, it logs it. And so are you saying you're going to sleep in the parking lot at night in the plan of fitness? Because once you park your truck, you can't move. You could technically say it's personal conveyance, but you're technically not. Because you're going to shower for, you know what I mean? It's for work. You're getting ready to start your day to go to work. But if you're at the truck stop, you don't have to move anything. You just walk out. Okay, what about Planet Fitness? Look, guys, I used to have a Planet Fitness membership. So I've, I've ran through all of these things that you talk about. So what about Planet Fitness has no towels, no soap? What do you do then? Are you always going to carry a um, dirty towel with you? And so... There's like, there's all of these problems, right? That just like, that stack up. And over time, you just kind of go like, why the heck am I like forcing myself to struggle? I'll just overpay a little bit, big deal. The convenience trumps the savings, right? That's how like... That's how you look at it eventually. The convenience trumps the savings because it is honestly. And oh, here's an even worst case scenario. You go park at a Planet Fitness and then um, and then people park, crowd you. You know what I mean? Because their parking lots are dumb, dumb tight. It's just so like, oh my goodness. And people park in and then you damage a car by pulling out. Care you try to pull out carefully, but you end up damaging the car. And that claim is, you know, a couple thousand bucks. All of your savings is gone in one instance. Now, granted, you could say, oh, well, you could damage a semi truck in a part in a trucking parking lot. Yeah, I know, in a truck stop parking lot. I, I, look, but there's much more space in a like truck stop parking lot than there is in a Planet Fitness. And so, you, if you damage something in the truck stop parking lot, well, then you know, reassess your driving skills. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it, like, you know what I mean? This. Guys, this is like, saving. That is not the right way to save money. Let's put it like that. If you want to save some money, I'm open to ideas of like doing your own maintenance. I'm open to ideas of slowing down. Maybe go 62, 65. Don't go 70. You know, even though the speed limit's 70, don't go that. 
you know? And so that that's a different story. I'm open to ideas. If you're taking a tall load, maybe you build up something in the front so it like separates the air. I'm open. But I am not open to ideas of, hey, you should get a Planet Fitness membership to save $20 for showers. Why? Because I've already, I've done that. I used to have a Planet membership. And then I would have to go buy a towel because I don't carry a towel with me. You know, I, at truck stops, well, they wash them. Why would I carry a towel? And so it's like, that I, then I have to go to the store next door, uh, go buy a towel, go, go to the Planet Fitness. Ah, oh, dude, it was a train wreck. It was a train wreck. Anyways, this was a good exercise. I like answering your questions. You know, you guys, you guys asked a bunch. So let me know what other questions you have and I'll answer them. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.